Today we've got a very important video to show you and that's how we can play Magic the Gathering on Arena for free. So before we get into that, I want to show you how much uh, we've accumulated in terms of gold and gems just by doing these basic steps. We have about 450,000 gold and 40,000 gems without putting even a single dollar into it. We might have put in maybe $5 for the starter pack, but after that, it was just a matter of just consistent playing. All right, so step one, very simple, is to just hit four wins daily. So why four wins? Because these four wins represent the best return of gold for your time. So if you take a look at Arena, we have the rewards table for daily wins. You can see it's zero out of 15 right now because the timer has just been reset. But the first win will get you 250 gold. And for the second, third and fourth win, you will get 100 gold each. So that's a total of 550 gold each day. So although you can go on to play up to 15 wins a day, you don't really want to because the returns for getting those extra wins is very low. You either get 50 gold or a random card reward for each win. And since you're not going to win every game, you're going to have some losses. It's going to take a lot of time just to get the 15 wins. So 4 wins a day is what we, we recommend and that will give you the best return for goal for your time. So apart from a daily win, the other reward that you can try to achieve is the daily quest. So the quests are also on the front page of Arena and every single day a new one will appear and you can have a maximum of 3 ongoing at the same time. So quest rewards are either 500 gold or 750 gold and the criteria for achieving these quests are written there. So for this 750 gold, you have to cast 40 creature spells. Uh, it's quite a lot, but you don't have to win. You just have to play and cast those creature spells. And once you hit 40, you will win that 750 gold. So pretty easy. And many times pursuing your daily wins will also coincide with fulfilling these quests. And even if you can't finish one in a day, it's all right because you can have a maximum of three concurrently ongoing. So you can just leave it for the next day and complete it within the next two days. So quick tip from us is that you can refresh a quest each day. Even if you have a 500 gold quest, you should hit the refresh button as you might change it into a 750 gold one. At the very least, another 500 gold quest will appear, but you don't lose out at all. So always try to refresh that one time each day. All right, so what do you do with the gold that you've earned? So you could go to the store and buy the booster packs for a thousand gold each, which is fine. But what we recommend is actually to go and play the quick draft events, which are always ongoing on Arena. To get to the quick draft event page, you have to click on play right here at the bottom right, and then go up to uh, the flag icon, or you can see it among the events thumbnails here. Look for quick draft and then click on it. And we're already in the event, but normally they would tell you it costs 5,000 gold right here and then 750 gems. So in draft, basically what it is, is you will get three booster packs after entering the event and you will pick cards in a group until you form a deck. You play until you reach either seven wins or three losses, whichever is first. So the goal of course is to get as many wins as you can best if you can go up all the way to seven wins and what happens is that depending on the number of wins you will get rewards in the form of gems and packs so for example if you get three wins you get 300 gems and one pack if you go all the way to seven wins then you get 950 gems and two packs so while 5000 gold may seem like a lot is equivalent to buying five booster packs on the store Actually, if you break it down in terms of the reward numbers, you do get more rewards by entering quick draft events. And this is because sometimes you'll be able to draft more than three rares from the packs as quick draft is played against uh, the computer. So sometimes they will pass rares or mythic rares even for you to pick. And that will grow your collection faster than just buying booster packs. By gaining these gems, you can use these gems later on to do more things while growing your card collection. Alright, so so far we've shown you how to accumulate gold and then after that how to accumulate gems. So right now, what are you going to do with those gems? Again, you can use those gems to buy booster packs from the store or any of the other cosmetics and other stuff. 
but what we also recommend is to use the gems to buy the mastery passes so based on our calculations buying a mastery pass will promise at least 50 percent more returns over what you're putting in a mastery pass is a reward system for just playing and playing and by spending that 3400 gems for a season pass you will receive additional rewards in the form of gold more gems draft tokens card styles even booster packs and a lot more and if you like to see the the way we broke down the reward numbers do take a look at the description we have a link to our article online and since each mastery pass costs 3400 gems you do have to run through several quick drafts before you have enough gems saved so it's okay if you're missed out on one because you don't have enough gems but just remember this is a long-term plan and game so there's no need to spend money to buy gems and get the mastery pass all the time after you've gotten better at quick draft you'll be able to accumulate gems much faster and then subsequently be able to buy the mastery pass for every season so some important points to note in our strategy to play arena for free firstly we have to get that four wins sometimes it takes a short time maybe 20 minutes if you're on a roll you get your four wins uh, back to back but sometimes it takes maybe an hour when you're winning and losing or it's just not your day so don't forget this takes time and consistency to get to your huge gold collection for us it took about two years of consistent daily play so if you're someone who plays just once a week which is also completely fine uh, then this strategy will likely not work out for you and lastly our i think the biggest hurdle is that you have to get better at drafting which can be a high learning curve at the start so don't be discouraged if you're starting out on draft and losing at the start just keep on doing your daily wins and every time you accumulate that 500 gold 5000 gold you can enter a quick draft you can practice we also have articles on our website that you can read up to get better on draft and also watch our own draft videos or other from other players as well so that you can see uh, how we play and the thought processes behind it all right that's it there's four simple steps to play magic the gathering arena for free we hope it has helped you a lot so if you liked our stuff please hit that subscribe button or comment tell us what you think uh, how have you been playing arena do you just buy your gems or do you follow a similar strategy we want to hear from you and this process has been proven is done by not just us but many other players so yeah if you like magic and you don't really have the money uh, to spend on packs or gems you just follow this guide and you will be playing uh, magic the gathering arena for free very soon okay so that's it from us take care we're tapping out see you guys next time